And we just start to breathe. Taking the hands to the ribs, just breathe out and press the ribs against the fingertips. Feel the fingertips move away from each other. And then as you exhale, exhale through the mouth and start to draw in with the lower abdomen and feel the fingertips move closer together. So as you inhale, take a deep breath in and feel the fingertips move away from each other. And as you exhale through the mouth, draw up with the pelvic floor, draw in with those deep abdominal muscles and feel the fingertips come closely together. Try and get them closer than before. Inhale, big breath, open out. Exhale, draw in with the pelvic floor. Have a slight pelvic tilt now, so just press the lower back onto the mat. Inhale, come back to a neutral spine, so a slight curvature in the lower back. Fingertips move away. Exhale through the mouth, draw in with the abdominals, fingertips knit together, flatten the lower back onto the mat and have a slight tilt of the pelvis. Inhale to release and just come back to neutral. Exhale, begin to tuck the tailbone under, take your hands down to the mat and curl up into a bridge position. Take a breath in at the top here. And exhale, come down piece by piece, rolling the lower back out. Coming down one piece at a time. Take a breath in to relax. Exhale, draw in with the deep abdominals, flatten the lower back and curl up into a bridge. Press into the heels, the inner thighs are contracting together and you reach up into your bridge. Fingertips reach towards the heels, breath in. Exhale, come down, really allow the pubic bone to come down last, keep the hips lifted, breath in. Exhale, flatten the lower back, draw in with the deep abdominals and ripple up into your bridge. Inhale, reach the arms up, fingertips point towards the ceiling, palms facing. Exhale through the mouth. Again, really push the inner arches of the feet down as you ripple down piece by piece. Inhale, flatten the shoulders down, so anchor the shoulders down beside you. And then exhale, take the arms behind, palms facing down, up. Uh, Palms facing up and make sure the rib cage doesn't flare. Take a breath in here, just hovering the hands above you, slight bend in the elbows. Exhale, draw the arms around, circle them around and feel the shoulder blades make this movement. So just feel nice on the shoulders, relax the hands down, breath in. Exhale, curl up into your bridge. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale through the mouth, ripple down piece by piece, one vertebra at a time. Inhale to drop the shoulders. Exhale, keep the rib cage and the lower back flat as you take the arms behind you, slight bend in the elbows. Take a breath out through the mouth as you circle the arms around, draw the shoulder blades down the back, keep hovering the hands off of the mat the whole way. Last one, breath in, soften everything. Breath out as you ripple up. Inhale, the arms reach up. Exhale, piece by piece, allow the spine to articulate down to the mat. Inhale, drop the shoulders. Exhale through the mouth, make sure the top of the ribcage stays down, hover the hands. Take a breath in and then exhale, circle the arms around, take the arms wide, but draw the shoulder blades down the back, slight bend in the elbows. Relax everything, move the hips from side to side. Take your right ankle and place your right ankle just above the left knee. And then lift your left leg up and interlace your fingers behind your left thigh. Keep the feet flexed and feel like you're pushing the right knee away from the body as you pull the left knee in towards the chest. Tuck the chin under slightly and feel length in the back of the neck. Keep breathing in and out. 
And each time you breathe out, go a bit deeper and consciously relax the left, the right hip. Last breath in. Last breath out, go a bit deeper. Release the fingertips, drop the left foot down, take the right foot off and take the left foot over the right knee. Flex the feet and then lift the right knee up, interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. And just start to have a nice pull on that leg as you consciously push the left knee to the front of the mat. Try and relax that left hip. Three conscious deep breaths in and out here. Last breath in. Last breath out, go further if you feel comfortable. Release the fingertips, drop the foot down, take the knee off of the, take the ankle off of the knee. Interlace your fingers behind your head, take a breath in. Exhale, lift up into your chest lift. So imagine that lemon, uh, that peach underneath your chin and you're holding it there, elbows are in your peripheral vision, you're just lifting up the chest. And then you're gonna lift up the knees to tabletop. Hold it here. Make sure the knees aren't coming over the hips. Really feel that transverse abdominus, the deep um, muscle that wraps around the tummy. Feel it knit in. Really feel that pulling in towards the belly bone. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Drop the left toe, then lift up as you inhale. Exhale, the right toe drops and you lift it up. You're keeping the same angle in the knee. Alternate with your breath now, just moving from left to right, but you're keeping the same angle in your knee and you're keeping the pelvis and the ribcage as still as possible. Make sure you don't squish the peaks, the chin doesn't drop, the elbows don't come in. And you're just moving from left to right, making sure that lower back stays flat. Just three more. Be slow. Think about good form. End on the right. And then drop the head, pull the knees in towards the chest. We're gonna do that again, but we're gonna add a rotation in the chest. So I'm gonna drop your hips from side to side to release any lower back tension. So coming up into that tabletop position with the, so drop the feet first, sorry, take a breath in. Exhale through the mouth, lift up the chest. Inhale, lift the left knees up to tabletop. And then exhale, you're gonna take your right elbow to the left knee as the right foot drops. Inhale back. And exhale, the left elbow goes to the right knee and the left leg drops. So the knee can come in slightly but you're just trying to keep holding that peach as you move from left to right, not allowing the elbows to come close to the face. Really slow, really moving with your exhalation, breathing in as you come back to center and breathing out as you rotate and drop that foot. Breathing in and breathing out. Those elbows will wanna creep in, relax the neck completely in the hands. This is all coming from the abdomen. Three more. Make sure the chin doesn't drop. Make sure you keep pulling in with the deep abdominals. Last one on the left. Wherever you are, just finish on the right as we started with the left. Relax the neck down, draw the knees into the chest, rock from side to side. And just rock up now in a seated position and cross your legs over. With, with your left leg in front of the right, 
the right foot's closer to the belly. You're gonna take your left hand down and reach your right arm over. Don't worry if your uh, elbow doesn't touch. If that hip's lifting up, then come back to where the hip can stay down. Just reaching as far as you can over. Maybe you can take your gaze up, open across the chest a little bit more, reach the right arm over to the left. Really push the right hip down, find length along this part of your body. Your QL muscle gets really tight. Continue to breathe, don't hold your breath. Maybe drop the elbows slightly, maybe walk the fingertips a little bit more away from the body. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna reach with the right arm forward and come into a forward fold. Think about pushing the hips back as the fingertips reach forward and the chin is tucked under. Walking the hands back, lifting the chest up, just take the hands to the knees and just roll the chest forward slightly, just roll the shoulders back. Swapping the legs over, so taking the right foot in front, the left foot closer to the body. Taking your right hand to the right, reaching the left arm up and exhale, take it over. Again, don't let the left hip lift. Palm faces down. Try not to cover the face. Think about drawing the left shoulder open, opening up your chest to the front. Breathing in and out. Think about breathing into the left side of the body. Maybe walking the fingertips away, maybe bending the elbow slightly. Just really trying to anchor this left hip down to the mat as you reach across, being a nice stretch here in the body. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, we circle the arm forward and reach forward, forward fold. Start breathing into the back of the body now. On your next exhalation, walk the hands back. Lift the chest up. Just have a little bit of a back bend and concave, like we're in a cat cow, just moving the spine. Okay. Then we're going to take our body side lying. So lie on your right side of the body with the right arm down. Your legs are out and just look down and make sure your legs are straight. They probably come forward a little bit instead of back because if we have them back, we're gonna be arching the back. Take your left hand down and just have your legs out straight in front of you, but they will veer off to kind of like the corner of the mat slightly. And you're gonna have your right leg, your left leg, sorry, the leg that's on top and an internal rotation. So the femur is gonna internally rotate slightly. So the toes are turning in towards the body. Just relax, have a slight lift in the waist so your core is engaged. And we're just gonna lift the leg up, but we're not gonna take the foot higher than the hip. We're just taking the leg up to hip height and dropping. We're gonna lift it up as we exhale, drop it down as we inhale. Exhale up, inhale down for 10, for nine, for eight, or seven, or six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Flex the front, the lower foot now, and you're gonna make some legs, little circles moving clockwise for 10, nine, eight. Try and make them small. Just two more. Hold it there and make the circles the other way. Lift up in the waist. 
Feel like the lower back is dropping, not arching. Three, two, one. Hold the foot there. You're gonna bend the right knee in towards the body. And you're gonna do 10 pulses again. So the leg is internally rotated. We're gonna pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven. So the knee is just slightly bent in, the lower knee and the top leg is straight. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the foot there. Bend the knee in towards the body, the left knee. Take the left hand and just have a quad stretch. Try and push your hips forward, maybe having like a slight chest lift so you can feel a deeper stretch within the quad. Feel like your left knee is pushing down towards the, back, the bottom of the mat. Release the foot, straighten both, uh, bend both legs in towards the body. We're gonna come into our clam. So tuck it under, we're gonna open, lift the ankles up off of the mat. Make sure that we're not arching too much and the heels are in line with the back. Lifting the ankles up, we're gonna open up our clam as we exhale and inhale to drop. Exhale, squeeze the glute here, lift up through the waist. Five, four, inhale as we drop. Exhale, inhale. Think about the pelvis being completely still and the ankles being completely still. Last one as we inhale and exhale. Hold it here. Keeping the knee, the top knee where it is, extend the leg out and bring it back for five, for four, or three, or two, squeeze the glute, for one. Bring the feet together, drop the knee, and drop the ankles. Extend the legs and move on to your tummy. Taking the hands to your forehead, just moving the hips just to release any tension we've built up. We're gonna relax the legs, take a breath in, as we exhale, begin to draw in with the tummy and lengthen the lower back out. So you're drawing in with the stomach just so we feel the glutes slightly engaged. Inhale to soften. Exhale through the mouth, draw it in and then bend the left leg. With the left leg bent, take a breath in, holding that uh, bracing of the core. And then exhale, lift the knee off of the mat. Keeping the hips velcroed down, keeping the head on the forehead on the hand, we're gonna pulse here for 10. Squeezing the glutes for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, I got cramped, two, three, two, one. Extend the leg, drop the knee, extend the leg out and just move from side to side. We're gonna do the other leg and then we're gonna move on to clam on the other side. Breath in. Exhale, draw in with the abs, squeeze the glutes slightly and bend the right knee. Inhale to lift up, keep both hips on the mat and pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here, extend the leg out and drop. Take your hands in line with your chest, roll your shoulders back, so draw your shoulder blades down your back and lift up into a cobra. So make sure that your hips are down on the mat. It doesn't matter if your elbows are bent, you can even come into sphinx pose if cobra is too much for your lower back right now. That's with the forearms down on the mat. But if you want a deeper stretch, you can come into cobra. Take a breath in. And breath out, ripple down. And just move the body back and we're gonna do the other side. Come into a child's pose, tuck the chin. And then you can either roll your body over or move your body. So we're gonna do the left side, doing those clams. And working those deep hip extensors on the left. So bend the, straighten the legs out and internally rotate the top leg. 
10 pulses here. Keep a weight, lift in the waist, breath in. Exhale. Make sure that the hip doesn't come, the foot doesn't come higher than the hip. Three, two, one. Hold it here, flex the lower foot and just make some circles round one way. Whichever way feels more dominant to you because we're gonna change the way uh, direction in a moment. Just making sure that lower back doesn't arch, you're dropping the tailbone, you're flexing the lower leg, you're lifting up through the waist, change direction. Make sure that your femur, the top of the leg is only going within the hip socket, so we're not making big circles. And then bend your lower leg, keep that top leg straight. Again, make sure it's turning inwards. We're gonna pulse again for 10. Really squeeze the glutes on top, breath in. And exhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold it here. Bend the leg in. Grab that foot if you can and stretch the quad out by pushing the weight into the leg that's on top and feeling like the right knee is reaching down away from the body. Bend both knees into the chest and then move the legs down slightly. And then make sure that your ankles are in line with the hip bones. Make sure that your top hip is stacked directly above the bottom hip. So you're not moving too, the hip, top hip's not moving too far back. You actually need to move forward slightly. Lift the hips up, uh, the waist up. Right hands down beside you, lift the ankles, breath in. Exhale, lift the right leg, knee to the left. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Inhale to lower, make sure you're not arching the lower back. Hips are on top of each other. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Your core is engaged. You're squeezing the glute that's on top. You're not leaning too far back. Last two. Hold it here, extend the leg on top. Make sure the pelvis and the knee are staying completely still. This is only an extension of the calf. So we're just bending the knee and bringing it back. For three, for two, for one. Bring it back, knees come together, extend the legs out and roll onto your front again. We're gonna do those glute lifts. Head comes down on the four on the hands, tuck your core in, inhale, lip bend, inhale, relax, exhale, lift the uh, bend the left leg, inhale, lift the left knee up, and exhale and pulse for ten, nine, keep the hips down, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it up, lift the knee, lift it higher, extend the leg out, and then drop. Breath in. Breath out, bend the right knee. Breath in, lift the knee off of the mat, and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, hold it up, extend, and lower down. Take the hands beside you, push back into a child's pose. Tuck the chin under. Take a breath in. Exhale, come up onto all fours. In our all four position, just make sure that your knees are over your hips and your shoulders are over your wrists. You're gonna shift the weight into 
the left hand and reach the right arm up, gaze towards the right fingertips. Exhale, thread the right hand under, but we're not going to go all the way, we're just going to twist it and keep that right hand hovering. Keep the chin tucked. Inhale, reach up, we're going to do this three times and then we'll come into more of a passive stretch. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, thread it all the way through, take the side of the face or head down to the mat. Reach the left arm up in front of you if you want to and twist in the shoulders. So really trying to stack that left shoulder on top of that right shoulder. Reaching the right fingertips away from the body. Deep breath in. Exhale, bring the left hand close to the face, press into the left hand and reach the right hand up. Circle the arm round, bring it back. Put the weight into the right hand, inhale the left arm up. And exhale, take it under. Just hover the face and hover the hand. Inhale. And exhale. Really try and twist within the trunk. Inhale and exhale, twist in the rib cage. This time we're going to stay in the stretch. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, thread it all the way through with the right hand reaching towards the front of the mat if you feel comfortable. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist a bit deeper, three really stack that. Right shoulder and pop the left. Inhale, bring the right hand close to the face. Exhale, reach up. Circle the hand behind, bring it round and in front of you. Take the hands behind with distance in front, tuck the toes under and push back down with facing dog. And just pedal out your heels slowly, just really trying to Press each heel down as you lift up onto the other toes. Fingertips are spread wide. You're pushing the ground away. You're pushing your chest towards your thighs. Really trying to open up the hamstring from the back to the calves by pressing the heel down as far as it will go. And toes together, big toes together, come to stillness. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, take the right knee close towards the face and then drop it to the front of the mat, the right foot to the front of the mat. Bring your left foot, so you're on the ball of your left foot, you're bending in the left knee and you inhale, reach up, crescent lunge. So pull the hips forward. Make sure the right hip is facing forward and the left hip is facing forward. Reach the hands up or keep your hands to heart center. We're going to dip this back knee three times and squeeze this left glute. Breath in. Exhale, dip it down and hover. Breath in, up. Breath out, down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Hold it here. Bring the chest back slightly so your chest is over the, the hips. Squeeze the glutes, breath in. Breath out, take the hands down and drop the back knee. Take this right foot more towards the right and take your hands to the inside of the right foot. Untuck the back foot and slide the back foot away as much as you can. You can hold it here or come down to your forearms if you feel comfortable. Just wherever you are, just making the, sure that the neck is in line with the spine. So you're not looking up, you're even looking down so the neck is more in line with the back. And just take some deep breaths here. And just think about opening the hip area.
If you're on your forearms, just walking yourself up so you're on your hands again. Taking your right foot and walking your right foot all the way over to the left. And then dropping your leg down. Untuck tuck your back foot under so you can lift up and pull, make sure that your hips are facing forward. So make sure this left hip isn't veering off to the left, that you're really pulling that left hip forward so it's kind of trying to connect with the mat. And then untuck the toes and take the hands down. And again, this left hip will want to lift up, really pull the left hip down and pull the right hip back. Wherever you are, just taking a few breaths here, you can be up on your hands, down on your forearms, or reaching out and resting on your forehead. I'm going to take four conscious deep breaths in here. So just think about relaxing the hips as much as you can. And we're going to breathe in for eight and exhale for eight if you can. Visualize the counts clear in your mind to distract you from any discomfort. On your last exhalation, just start to walk yourself out a bit. Come up onto your hands. If you can, tuck your back toes under so your foot is flat, and then draw the foot in towards the body. And then you're going to put the weight into the right hand and lift your left arm up, point the toes and grab your foot if you can. And then sink the hips and pull on the back leg and rotate in the chest. Just holding here for one, for two, for three. Release the foot, foot flex the foot, and take the foot down to the mat slowly. You're then going to move your hips behind you and come into a kind of side angle stretch. So taking the right foot to the inside of the left calf, left thigh. Rotate your shoulder slightly so the left shoulder is in line with the left toe. Take your left hand to the inner left thigh, reach up with the right hand, and then reach over towards the left toes. Flex the toes. Think about the toes trying to point up towards the ceiling. As you root that right hip down, Really think about length coming along the left, right side of the body. Like there's an elastic band at the hip from the fingertips that you're trying to stretch, even if it's just a little bit more in one area. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, press into the left hand, reach up back to center. Take your hands forward. We're going to keep this right foot into the chest as we pivot and draw the right foot in. So coming into a, like a plank that the right foot is in towards the body. Hold it here. Take the right knee and tap the outside of the right elbow. Hold it there. Use the core, breath in. Breath out, lower down halfway chaturanga with the knee up. Take the foot back, both feet meet, drop the body, inhale into a cobra. Or sphinx if cobra is too much for your back. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, they're not by the ears. Really pull the shoulder blade down, the strength is coming from the biceps. Breath in. Exhale, ripple down, tuck the toes under. Get yourself back to downward facing dog. Just pedal out the heels again. 
Taking a deep breath in and out as you move. Then taking big toes together. Inhale, the left leg reaches up. Exhale, take that left foot and draw it and take it to the front of the mat. Make sure that the knee is over the ankle. Hover the back knee down. Squeeze the glutes, engage the core. Inhale, reach up, present lunge. Exhale, drop the knee down, hover it. Inhale, up, square the hips. Exhale, drop. Inhale. And exhale, hold it here. Move the chest back slightly. Drop the back knee, drop the hands. Take the left foot more towards the left. Untuck the toes, come into your lizard pose. Whatever variation of lizard that you like, you can take your forearms down to the mat. Maybe you can reach your arms away from your body. It doesn't matter if the inside of the left foot comes up or is down. Whatever feels good for you, wherever you feel like you're making your biggest stretch for your body. Just two more breaths in here. If you're on your forearm, just making your way back to your hands. Flexing the back foot. And actually, no, we did that in pigeon, sorry. So walking your left foot more towards the right, taking it all the way over and dropping the shin down. And again, lifting up onto the back toes and drawing the hips forward. So really trying to pull that left hip back, that right hip down and then untucking the back foot, and then coming into your variation of pigeon that you like best. You feel your right hip lifting, really make the effort to pull it back. Breathing in, I said breathing in for eight and exhaling for eight, but I meant breathing in for four and exhaling for eight. So breathe in for four and exhale for eight if you can, or any, maybe three to six. And relax that left hip. And slowly walking your hands back. It is impossible for you to grab that back leg. You can just come onto your fingers and come into a sort of back bend. That would still feel quite nice and really. Uh, deep on the hip, but if you can, then flex the back foot, back foot and draw the right foot in. Put the weight into the right hand as you lift the left leg. Put the weight into the left hand as you take the right hand back and pull the leg in. Try and drop the hips. Try and lift the chest. Focus on one point for balance, breath in. Breath out to release, flex the back foot, take the toes down. Take your hands down to the mat. You're gonna come onto the ball of the back foot and you're gonna draw the left knee into the chest. 
And then you're going to tap the left elbow, the left knee to the left elbow. Keep the leg high. We're going to lower down halfway into Chaturanga with the left leg up. So just holding it here. Hold it, be strong, tense everything in your body. And then with control, take the left leg back to meet the right. Drop the body down on the mat, untuck the toes. Coming into wide arm cobra, take the palms out wide and you're on the top of the fingertips. Tuck the chin under, inhale, ripple up. Exhale, take the right shoulder and look behind the left. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, look behind the right shoulder as you drop the left shoulder in. Inhale, again. Exhale. You can exhale through the mouth if it feels nice. Inhale. And exhale. One more. Inhale. Think about fluidity in the top of the spine as you tuck the chin under and ripple up. And again, exhale. And inhale. Drop the belly, drop the chest, hands in line, push back into a child's pose. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Walk your hands back. Come onto your sit bones. And then come onto your back. So when we come onto our back, just take your feet down, reach your arms in front. Draw the center of the chest forward so the back is straight. We're gonna hinge back 45 degrees. So don't move anything just apart from your back. It's just lowering back. You can take the hands to the back of your thighs if you need. We're gonna create a C shape with the lower back. So think of that pelvic tilt. So tilting the pelvis and then rippling down piece by piece. Keep the feet anchored down, keep your gaze forward. Take the backs of the thighs whenever you need to come down. Piece by piece, make sure the chin stays up, top of the chest, shoulders, back of the head. In this position, we're going to lift our legs up to tabletop and reach our arms up. We're going to take our right hand out to the right and gaze to the right side. Inhale, back up. Exhale, take the left arm up, look towards the left. Try and keep the lower back flat on the mat and the rib cage flat. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, the right hand comes out, look to the right. Inhale, and exhale. This time as we inhale up and exhale to the right, we're just gonna drop the knees to the left, but we're not gonna take them all the way. Use your core. Inhale, back to center, then exhale. Take them over slightly. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, draw the knees in towards the chest. Take your right, so take the knees away from you slightly so you have space to do this, but we're gonna take our right knee over our left and cross the legs. If you can, then bend the knees in so you can grab the tops of the feet. You can lift your chest up if you need to, to grab them. And then to make sure the lower back is like out as far as it will go, so the lower back isn't lifting up, you can relax your head back down. If you need to keep the head lifted, then maybe roll your mat up, just so you have a bit of space so you can have the head down something. Or if you have a cushion nearby, that would be good to place your head if you need to keep your head up. Once you grab your feet, once you've grabbed your feet, push your knees away from your body. So think about the knees pushing away and the feet lifting up. Holding it here. Playing around with it till you feel the deepest stretch within your groin, inner thighs, the backs of your glutes. Making sure that the feet are nearly as high as the knees. Pushing the knees away as you try and pull the feet in, but yet there's resistance. And relax the hips. 
and then release, drop the feet down. Lift the knees back up and take the left leg over the right. Grab the feet, lift the head if you need to. Once you've grabbed the feet, lift the feet as high as you can and push the knees away from your body. Just two more breaths. Releasing, taking the feet down, just tapping the feet out. Extending the left leg out, lifting the hips up and taking them more to the right side, drawing the right knee in and coming into a supine twist. So the right hand comes out, you look towards the right as the right knee comes over to the left. If you feel anything in your lower back, just bend that lower knee in as well. Try and push the right shoulder down so it's in contact with the mat as much as you can. Slowly bring yourself back to center. Extend the right leg out, take the hips more towards the left. The left knee comes in and you drop the left leg over to the right. The left arm extends out and you look towards the left fingertips. Slowly coming back to center. Drawing both knees in towards the chest. Just tuck the chin under as much as you can so you can feel length within the top of the spine. Like the top of the spine is trying to open up and pull apart. So tucking the chin to try and touch the chin to the chest. And then come back to center. Take a breath in. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest. Draw the shoulder blades down at the same time. And then come back to center. Lift the legs up and flex the toes towards the face. Grab hold to the backs of the legs. We pull the backs of the legs close towards the body. Keeping hold of the left leg, take the right leg down towards the mat. You can have either have the foot down or the ankle down. Flex the left toes towards the face and pull on the left back of the left thigh. Point the toes and then flex. Keeping the foot flexed, release the fingertips from the backs of the thigh and just take the left foot towards the right, keeping the left hip down on the mat. So keeping both hips facing the ceiling, just take that left foot over towards the right side. We haven't got a strap, so we'll try and do it open in a sec, but this is easier to do that strap than the other way. Slowly coming back to center. If you have a strap, use a strap. If not, then just bend the knee to grab the big toe and lift up into a sort of half happy baby or as much as you can into a straight leg. So just hold, pistol grip the big toe with your index finger and middle finger. And either extend the leg out if you can, or just keeping it bent. Tucking the chin under, don't compromise the spine and the neck to go deeper. Think about the form of the back being more important. And then just taking the left leg out towards the left side. Making sure the right hip doesn't lift so you can place your right hand on the right hip just to make sure it stays down. Big breath in. Exhale, come back to center. Both legs up towards the ceiling. Pull on the backs of the thighs again. Keeping hold of the right leg, extend the left leg down. Keeping the foot or the ankle down on the mat. Just have a nice pull on the back of the ham hamstring. Flex the toes towards the face. Really kick the heel up towards the ceiling. 
and then point the toe, really point in the front of the foot, and then flex, and then release the hands from the thigh and take the right foot to the left. Hips stay down on the mat, trying to kick that foot up towards the face as much as you can. Inhale back to center. Exhale, grab the foot, come into your half happy baby and go out to the side. But if you can have the leg straight, have the leg straight, but again, don't compromise the spine, the neck and the spine and the shoulder all need to be relaxed and close to the body. One last breath in, one last breath out. Slowly bend the knees, slightly come back to center. Squeeze the knees in. Make knee circles, massage the lower back. And then rock up and cross over and come into your downward facing dog. Notice maybe how the heels are closer than before than we, when you're first down with facing dog. We're gonna walk, take the feet about hip shift distance or wider, and we're gonna walk the hands back towards the feet. Bend the knees and just hang here, relaxing the head, feeling heavy in the chest, making sure that the weight is evenly distributed between the feet. So just rock back and forwards just to notice the difference that you can feel within the stretch as you move the body. I'm really sucking the belly in, squeezing the sit bones together at the back of the body and we're rolling up into a standing position. Rolling the shoulders back. We're gonna lift the shoulders up and drop them away from the body. But as they drop, feel like you have got weights in your hands and it's getting heavier. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down. Inhale, shoulders up. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades. The wings of the back should be really trying to pull down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One last time, inhale, and exhale. And then just take a bend to the right, the left arm reaching over, the right hand is reaching down towards the toes, past the knee, pushing the left foot in towards the ground. Slowly use your core, come back to center, breath in, breath out at the side. Root the right foot down as you reach the right fingertips over. Slowly use your core, come back to center. Shake out. There you go, guys.